Right, what is going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another objectives guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at the squad of foundations for Eredivisie. Now by completing these you can get a pretty good ride back. I think it's probably best for everyone watching and myself included. I do not try to pronounce these names because I know I will just make a fool of myself. But you've got some pretty nice looking cards here. Uh, but Bazoa, is it Bazoa? Bazoa. Bazoa is what we're going to go with. I've probably absolutely butchered that, but he looks like a very good almost full at gang card. I mean, the left back in himself looks solid, so you can get some free pretty nice cards for literally just playing the game. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let's get into it as well. If you guys are new to the Objective Guide series, we'll go through all of these. If there's some in-game examples if necessary, we'll get into a squad builder, some tips and tricks. Let me know if you have got any questions down below, and let's get into it. Now, last year, these were all based in the managerial masterpiece game mode, but this year, this seems to be just in squad battles, which is absolutely perfect from EA. You've got assists to seven goals with through balls using players from Eredivisie in squad battles on at least semi-pro difficulty or division rivals. Now to do a through ball assist, if you do not know, here is an example. To perform a through ball assist, all you have to do is press triangle on the PlayStation. If you are on Xbox, then it would be Y, and all you got to do is do the rest with the person you pass to and hope you score. Score 10 goals using players from Eredivisie with at least 4 star weak foot in squad battles once again on just at least semi pro. Play 20 matches in squad battles on at least semi pro or division rivals having at least 7 players from Eredivisie. Now rivals probably a little bit more bearable, maybe a little bit more fun. You can try and you know rank up as you go. If you want to try and get for 50 rival wins for 100k pack milestone you could do that. But let's be real lads, there's no guarantee in winning, you'll be using a worse team than you usually would use, unless you've already got like a full Eredivisie team with at least 7 in it, fair enough. But it's probably smarter to do it in squad battles, and for the sake of today, we are going to base this objective guide in squad battles, but you can still use the tips and tricks for rivals as well. And then you've got win 10 matches, so I guess you got to play them and you got to win half of them, so look, you could do it in rivals, it just depends if you want to risk it. Obviously rivals as well does have that rage quit factor, I think it all comes down to what division you're in. If you're in like division 6 or lower, maybe you could give it a go, but if you're in like division 4, division 3 onwards, it's starting to get a little bit sweaty, I'd probably not do that and, and branch away from your main team for the era to busy lads so that's quite self-explanatory let's get into the squad builder so i know it's only at least seven era to busy players quite required but we've gone for a full era to busy side and i'll tell you why i do not recommend switching out either of your attackers or any of your midfielders for non era to busy players because you want them for goals, assists, assists with through balls, etc. You want that and the higher chance, you've got the most, the highest possible chance of scoring or assisting with your midfielders or attackers. You do not want to make the, the mistake of scoring or assisting with a non Eredivisie player and that meaning absolutely nothing. So if you do want to swap some players out, I would recommend swapping your defenders, maybe your fullbacks and goalkeeper out for some players in your club. That's just completely up to you. But to make it easy, we've just gone for a full Eredivisie side. So left wing, we have gone for Cody Gakpo looks a very very good card striker the best era to visit striker out I'll just flick through them if you guys want to pause then go absolutely ham and buy these players um, or you could just search era to visit and buy the players yourself now as for Alvarez you could go to a 4-3-3 with a CDM formation to get him on the correct chemistry or if you're too lazy doing that and want to stay as a 4-3-3 you can simply use a position modifier to get him on the full chem boost completely up, up to you we'll just have it like this right now our right center mid is going to be a cock shoe five star weak foot relatively good card quite well rounded left back it is going to be owen original original yeah i'm not i'm not gonna try it who you can actually unlock by doing these objectives so you're going to use them to unlock him now the two center backs are definitely your best you probably the best players in the squad to be honest i mean disregarding gakpo tz 81 pace solid defending solid solid physical respectable balance for a center back as well along with timber who looks even better there was a lot of hype about around this timber card going into the game right back is George Sanchez 92 pace he's got some solid agility and balance he'll get the job done and in net we've gone for Walter Benitez all right lads so if you want to copy this squad this is in my opinion the best cheap era to busy side let's jump in to the tips okay lads now tip number one is going to be the bench because so many people forget this year 
that you can use up to five subs every single match. As long as you go into the game with at least seven Eredivisie players, you could then go ahead and make an additional five subs, which means in the game, you really only need two Eredivisie players on the field. Because after you've got the seven, you can then make five subs, you'll only have two left. As I said though, maybe after you get some through ball assists, maybe after you get some goals with the Eredivisie players, you do not want to sub them off too early because obviously you want to get the Eredivisie goals and assists. But you want to get your five best players on the bench. I can put my Govu, Rudiger, Vinicius, uh, George Best. If you've got some loans, remember don't use your loans too much. I've got a loan, I don't mind using him for a few games if I have to. I mean, I'll try to avoid using your subs, but if you have to use them, if you're struggling, then they're always there. So make sure to fully your bench out with your at least your five best players on there so you can sub them on at any point during the match. Now tip number two is going to be custom tactics. If you wish to build your own team and you want to make a whole new one right then the custom tactics will be left on balanced okay. Now when they're left on balanced now I'm not going to sit here and tell you which custom tactics to use because I'm not sure which formation you're playing your exact team if you've copied this or not but with custom tactics there's plenty of them on YouTube. If you're also using the 4 3 Free second variation. I've actually got a 4 3 free custom tactics video on the channel, but even if you just go like for balance, just put direct passing on, maybe have your CDM as stay back and your center mids on cover center, maybe etc. Right? I'm not going to get too in depth to it because I'm not going to give you guys certain set in stone tactics to use because they're all, you know. If you want to use them, you, you will. If you don't, they're all very about perspective when it comes to custom tactics. So I can't really tell you what you like, if you will. Um, so if you do have custom tactics set up for your main team, then I'd probably just copy that for this one. And it will just give you a little bit more of an advantage in game. And tip number three, lads, in my opinion, one of the most important ones, chemistry styles. Especially because everyone in this team is on at least three everyone in this team is literally on three out of three chemistry so chemistry styles will be massive here is a pre-recorded in-game example of how chemistry styles work and why they'll be so effective when you've got every single player on at least three chem points chemistry styles in my opinion are so important especially for the lower rated players because it can make them perform a lot better in game for example this card right here he is on zero out of three chemistry points which means I probably wouldn't worry about putting a chemistry style on him because as you can see he gets absolutely no boost whatsoever. Now Ryan Kent on the other hand is on one out of three chemistry points which I still think is not so much worth putting a chemistry style because he only gets plus ones on the board and I think that's just a little bit of a waste. As for players that are two out of three chemistry points or more though, I do think that is where you're going to want to start getting some chemistry souls on them. For example, Ben Yedda is on two out of three and he's starting to get some plus twos throughout the board. Therefore, I think all of your players that are at least two out of three chem points, it's worth getting a chemistry style on them. You can do so by going to apply consumable and going over to your chemistry style tab. There you will see all of the chemistry styles in your club. You've got attacking, midfielders, defending one as well. I would avoid using hunters though because you don't really want to use that. It's a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit excessive for objectives. Now, this is a prime example of chemistry styles. Player from Unfalverde who is on three out of three chemistry points, so the maximum points. As you can see, he's got an engine applied. With this engine attributes boost he goes to 94 pace in game roughly 89 or 90 passing he gets a nice dribbling boost as well so it just goes to show give the chemistry styles on your players I think all of your players that are on at least two chemistry points and it will benefit them in game. And last but not least, the final tip is going to be when it comes to squad battles, you want to play them on semi-pro difficulty. Now, as you guys know, with squad battles, you get up to four different selections every single time. Now, this one, as you can see, I played just before I started recording on World Class and I won 6-3. It was a solid team, a gold team. It was an okay team. Only nine out of 33 chemistry. So I'm like, I'll play that on World Class. But if you look here, a 79 rated with only five chemistry is relatively low rated so you can view the squad that's a very poor team so you can go ahead select the required difficulty or the difficulty you wish to play on and go ahead and play that you've got some 85 rated teams some 84s which obviously this 85 rated side with 30 chemistry you'd probably want to avoid because it's a pretty sweaty team so you're just going to want to keep refreshing now you can refresh by pressing square on the PlayStation or X if you are on Xbox and it will give you a whole other four teams to play. You can refresh once every 10 to 15 minutes is a cooldown for it. 
So you can just play the worst team, refresh, play the worst team, refresh, and so on, so forth. If you do go over your 40 match limit, do not worry, it will still count towards objectives. The only thing it does mean is it will not count towards your overall squad battles rank, so you will not get any squad battle points for competing or winning the game. So lads, relatively self-explanatory, straightforward objective guide for today. Just to do a bit of an overview for it, assist seven goals with through balls by pressing triangle on PlayStation, why if you are on Xbox, using players from Eredivisie, which is why I do think it's important not to sub off your Eredivisie midfielders or attackers too soon. We'll score 10 goals using players from Eredivisie with at least 4 star weak foot. Now I will go into the team and show you guys the players with a 4 star weak foot. Gakpo's got 4 star weak foot. Uh, Brian's got 4 star weak foot. Meduiki, I uh, butchered that. Meduiki, is that how you pronounce it? It's got 4 star weak foot. Uh, literally all of your midfielders, except for your CDM, your 2 centre mids and all your attackers have got 4 star weak foot. So that should be no issues. Play 20 matches, I do recommend doing in squad battles. You can do it in rivals if you're feeling a bit risky or in a relatively low division and you've got win 10 matches as well lads hope you guys did enjoy it's a very self-explanatory one remember to once again just to recap use chemistry styles make use of your five substitutions but do not sub them on too early where you're sacrificing your era to busy players as you need them for the goals and assists and make sure to keep refreshing your squad battles playing the worst side and just repeat that process much love boys it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out lads i, I think i think my webcam just froze so Here's a second intro. Peace out, boys.